There's also a disclaimer before watching this video. Before you start messing with anything on this mod, make sure you take off your battery terminals. You want absolutely zero chance and have of this car having power and something shocking you or electrocuting you. So make sure your battery terminals are disconnected and so you can be safe because you're gonna be messing with electricity. Hey guys, what's going hey. on today? I'm gonna show you a quick DIY for your SRT6 Crossfire or your SLK32 AMG Mercedes. Um, don't quote me on it, but probably the V8 compressors work the exact same way because they have an intercooler. Um, but on the V6s, I know it for sure works. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. This is gonna be used for two scenarios. One is so the intercooler is always on to help lower IATs. And it will also help you troubleshoot in case you think your, um, your intercooler pump has failed, you don't quite know, or you need to check if there's air bubbles in the intercooler system. These are very important things, and this is the way to troubleshoot that without actually having to put the car in drive, so it makes the whole process a whole lot easier. So without First off, my opinion, you're gonna want this. This is an electrical repair kit. It's got everything you're gonna need to it, okay? So it's gonna have this um, line, or this wire here, with the little metal copper inside that you just strip back and you can expose. And it's gonna have a lot of these male and female connectors that are gonna be able to um, connect the circuits and go into the um, places of the, uh, of the fuses, fuse covers. Um, right here on the very, very back, it actually has a fuse. So for all of you that don't have this on your car, go ahead and take a snapshot of this. Um, number 13 is the water pump, SRT water pump. So that's what we're gonna be looking at for today. Here it is over here on the side. And so it goes 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, to 13. That's the one we're gonna be going on, obviously. That's the one that's been messed with. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you're gonna to wanna to pull the fuse out, okay? So you're gonna have the red 10 fuse cover. You're gonna to wanna to turn it around. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is make, is make a connection with that. And you're gonna use the red line, like I said, on both sides. You're gonna make two separate um, connectors and you're gonna strip this metal wire back and you're gonna to wanna to set it onto these looking guys right here, okay? And you actually stick one side in to one side of the fuse and you make another one, you stick this one on the other side and you're gonna to wanna to cut and make two separate um, sizes. I have the sizes, I'll put them in the video as well, like on picture wise. And you wanna make two separate connections. So one will actually come outwards and it will come back in and you stick it inside to here, okay? And you want to put it in, you want to wrap it up with um, electrical tape so it stays. And when you strip this wire here, you want to make sure the metal and the copper is actually resting on the um, metal part of the connector so it's getting a charge or circuit is completed. Um, over here. You can see that little nut right there. You're gonna to wanna to take that nut out, be very careful, it's very tiny. I use a magnetic wrench or like a magnetic screwdriver and it makes it to where it holds onto it really, really well. And then that's when this one comes into place right here. This one with the little circle. So you actually put that down in and then you put the screw, you screw that on almost kind of like it's like a washer, if that makes sense. And like I said, I'll, I'll show you what mine look like so you can get a better representation of what it's gonna look like. But you're gonna wanna um, pull all these wires out right here. All this, don't worry about it. You're not gonna disconnect anything. And you're gonna wanna shove that down into there. And that's how that's gonna work. It'll be really, really easy and really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you now how you can test and see if it works. All right, so now I know how it works. First off, you're gonna to wanna to put that back on there, securely tighten that, get into your vehicle. Normally, intercooler pump only comes on when the car's in drive or when the intercooler pump needs to work when the IATs get too high in order to prevent the supercharger from overheating. So you're gonna to wanna to get in, just turn it to accessory position. You don't need to go all the way on. Not anymore, you don't. Because you've tricked the system to where it's always on. Turn off my music. I was jamming. Okay, too much rock and roll. So, right here is your intercooler line. Right here. 
and you actually can just feel it and you should feel a stream of water going through it. If I were to take this off and put down a silicone tube, I could actually put it in here and put it into here and it would just flow right in. And that's where you test to see if you have bubbles in your system. If you're putting your little silicone tube here and putting it back into here in your reserve tank and there's holes or bubbles in it, you know there's bubbles in the system which is causing your supercharger and the intercool itself to get too hot. It's not an intercooler pump problem, it's just a bubble problem and you need to purge the system and that can be due to incorrectly putting in the fluid or multiple cases. But that's and if you get right here, you're probably not going to want to catch it on the... But if you get really close to the tire or the rim, you're not going to be able to hear it. But I can hear it. It's, if you get really close to it, it's like a very faint waterfall-y kind of noise. And that's basically how the intercooler always on mod works. Really cool to do. And thank you very much. I'll put some pictures to show you what it looks like. And thank you very much. Have a nice day and good luck. Any questions, message me and uh, join srt6.com or the forums and ask questions and educate yourself on how to do this car and modify it. Because when you do it right, it's very, very fun. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.